Management of NAFLD and NASH Introduction Fueled by increasing metabolic abnormalities such as hypertension, central obesity and insulin resistance, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD, is emerging as a leading global cause of chronic liver disease. In NAFLD, the overload of the lipid molecule is the main initial reason that triggers hepatic steatosis. Excessive free fatty acid, FFA delivery from the adipose tissue to the liver results in the intrahepatic pool expansion of FFAs in the form of triglycerides. Fat accumulation evokes hepatic lipotoxicity, which induces liver cells to release pro-inflammatory triggers trigger oxidative stress and hepatic stellate cell activation, ultimately leading to hepatic inflammatory injury. In many cases, NAFLD can develop further and subsequently progress to liver fibrosis, cirrhosis and hepatocellular carcinoma. Treatment Options The most important fact about the management of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and non-alcoholic Steatohepatitis is that there are no food and drug administration approved therapies. Hence, the cornerstone in treating NAFLD and NASH is diet and lifestyle modification, as the disease is associated with a poor lifestyle. For NAFLD and NASH, a hypocaloric diet is often recommended with a daily reduction of calorie intake by 500 to 1000 kilocalories. Another important recommendation is 45 minutes of moderate intensity exercise, as several studies have shown that even a 3% reduction in weight can bring down the risk of steatosis by 50% in individuals. On the other hand, there are several drugs in the pipeline to treat NAFLD and NASH, targeting inflammation, metabolic syndrome or fibrosis. However, herbal therapies represent the most logical therapeutic opportunity for the treatment due to their hepatoprotective nature. For example, nuts, seeds, and leafy greens are often included in the hypocaloric diet, which are sources of vitamin E. Vitamin E can reduce oxidative stress in the liver tissues. Herbal therapy. Herbal therapy, mainly using natural antioxidants, represents a reasonable therapeutic approach for the prevention and treatment of liver diseases due to the role of oxidative stress in contributing to the initiation and progression of hepatic damage. For example, Caparis spinosa is known to regulate fibroblast growth factor 21, FGF 21 levels in the fatty liver and is considered beneficial in steatohepatitis. Sicorium intibus seed extract reportedly prevented histological damage, steatosis, inflammation and fibrosis to the cells and tissues and regulated sterol regulatory element binding protein 1C, SREBP 1C and peroxisome proliferator activated receptor alpha, PPAR alpha genes in steatosis. Sicorium intibus and its active constituent Esculutin were reported to ameliorate impaired glucose tolerance, improve liver glycogen content, elevated glucose 6-phosphatase and serum transaminases. Solanum nigrum slows liver fibrogenesis via the reduction of pro-fibrogenic mediators like transforming growth factor beta-1, TGF beta-1 secretion. Solanum nigrum exerts anti-inflammatory activity by inhibiting inducible nitric oxide synthase INOS, tumor necrosis factor alpha TNF alpha and interleukin 6 IL6 Terminalia arjuna has hepatoprotective effect against NAFLD Arginolic acid present in Terminalia arjuna reportedly upregulates the PPAR alpha and Farnesoid X receptor messenger RNA FXR mRNA expression to reduce steatosis and downregulates peroxisome proliferator activated receptor gamma PPAR gamma expression. Cassia occidentalis and its phytoconstituents like polyphenols, tannins, and flavonoids are suggested to have antioxidant potential. Archelia millifolium contains polyphenols such as rutin chlorogenic acids and other constituents which are considered to contribute to the antioxidant effect. 
Further, these polyphenols from Achillea millefolium are known to exhibit regulatory activity or microRNAs, miRNAs expression. Tamarix gallica and its phytoconstituents have antioxidant properties. Conclusion Therefore, it can be concluded that natural compounds play a vital role in protecting human health and curing human diseases. They also have the advantages of low toxicity and a broad range of applications.